Where am I from? If you were to ask me, well, I'd let you know that I could not give you a simple answer for, I am from many people. I come from many places. I represent many things. And Well, growing up, I was always the geeky, nerdy kid. I got straight A's, but when it came to friends and being the social butterfly, that was never me. And I guess you could say I was the weird kid. Instead of playing outside, I'd rather stay indoors and play with my dolls and write. Like, what seven, eight, nine-year-old writes all day? That was me. And so, as I got older and I realized that I guess I was different from my peers, it just made me feel like I didn't belong. I began to notice her, her poems change. They were almost scary to some degree. And because of my background and training, it sent red flags to me that perhaps she needs someone other than myself to talk to. And so that's when, you know, I asked Reniqua how she felt about maybe seeing a counselor. And at first she was kind of hesitant, but she, you know, she bought into it and we took it from there. I am from the hugs and the loving to the fights and the cussing between me and all of my loved ones. That's when I like to hop on a plane and escape from it all. I think she felt, Mom, you're a social worker. Why do I need to go and see someone? You can counsel me. I had to explain it to her. No, I'm mom first. I'm always going to be mom first. Everybody always thinks, oh, well, if you're a parent, like my mom is a therapist, so people would think, you should be able to talk to your mom about everything. But it's, it was a complete opposite. Because when it comes, I guess, in her shoes, what I had to see, so her being a parent, it was harder for her to look at me as like she does her clients. And so my mother said, I need someone else because I can't separate the fact that you're my daughter from the situation. She needed, we needed an outside source. I am from the thousands and thousands of pages of every notebook that has ever been touched by my pencils and pens and been filled with my words and all of my hurt and my joy. Yeah, nobody knows me like they do. Most people, they, oh, they either don't like poetry or it's just a hobby for them or it's just something they do. But I truly feel like if I did not write during those most pivotal years from when I was nine to now, because, you know, I went all my teenage years, I've used poetry to get through where most teenagers act out, you know, whether they're doing drugs or partying or just doing whatever, you know, because that's what teenagers do. We act out to try and get attention, to be heard, to be seen. Instead of me acting out in a negative way, I use poetry to help me get through whatever I was going through and whatever I was feeling in a positive way. I just love working with Reniqua and um, I think that it's helped her uh, f find her voice more that she already had it. She's been writing for years since she was in fifth grade. I would say that um, using the arts as a form of therapy is becoming more and more an established practice. I don't care if you're mad, you're angry, whatever, that you can write them down so you'll have those things. And then you can go back in retrospect and understand them. She's able to take uh, very specific, concrete images and put them on the page that then will project to the reader uh, her feelings. For instance, in one of her poems, I know, she writes about you know her, her acne bumps and her vacillating between size 11 and 16 jeans. And um, she has very, uh, a very precise way of putting it into uh, visual images that then can convey those wider abstract ideas. I am from acne bumps and sizes 11 to 16 jeans, all depending on my mood and the seasons that switch and swing. I am from always telling it just like it is. I am from always handling my biz. What happens when you're a teen affects you when you become an adult. And my thing is, I don't wanna just go through my teenage years overlooking low self-esteem, overlooking trying to find myself, because I'll be 30 still having those same problems, 30 and 40, and then it's even worse by then because I'm, you know, I'm grown. And that's why all my life I've, I've tried to work on myself
I just, that's why I always say I'm a, I'm a process of progress. That's what I always say, it's a process of progress. I know that I am not perfect and I'm far from complete, for every day is a process to make progress and improve in order to become a stronger, wiser, and overall much better human being. But where I am from has brought me to where I am. I saw instant improvement after, even while she was in counseling. I could see gradual improvements with her being more uh, 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 social. Uh, she was a social butterfly. During 12th grade year, my goodness, my house stayed full of teenagers. You could see her self-esteem just increase and, you know, she was more welcoming and more inviting and she was more approachable by other people and I could just see her being happy and as I stated she was more willing to communicate with me even with things that she thought I may not be able to handle. She was just a whole different kid. With therapy it made our bond even stronger. Like it, it we, we grew and ever since that experience me and my mother have been a hundred times closer than we even were before. So. I just would say to parents, just don't give up on your kids. And if you see that they need you, I don't how no matter how hard it is, they need that that's when you're supposed to step in. I'm thankful that my mother did, that she didn't give up on me because I wouldn't I wouldn't have gotten to therapy without her. I thank God for all that I have experienced, endured, and overcome, never forgetting where I am from. For my time to shine is now. And my time to grow never ends. This is only the beginning because I know where I am from, but I also know where I am going.